I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 16th day of February. And man, it's cold out in there. We've still got some snow cover on the ground after those snow showers last night, but we are promising warmer weather later this week. Let's take a look at some of the uh, Skycam shots around the network. I want to start with uh, some scenes yesterday. This was up in uh, Walker County at Jasper. As the uh, snow started there, and again, this was the band of convective snow showers that uh, passed through late yesterday and uh, made the ground white. In fact, some spots had uh, one quarter to one half inch with that. Uh, that was looking right down uh, 20th Street in downtown Birmingham from the Daniel Building about 6, uh, 6.30 as the snow is falling there. And that's the Inverness sky cam. And again, some really good snow showers at that point. That was about 6.30 last night. And that's this morning. That's the uh, Chiha sky cam. And you can see how the uh, grass is white again from the snow that they had. Check the uh, water vapor satellite shot. Look at the trough over the east, ridge over the west. You know what that means? It's cold. That's just kind of been the setup uh, all winter long. And you can see that screaming subtropical jet stream down there in the lower part of the screen. But that's going to be suppressed to the south in the short term. Here's a look at the numbers, and it's cold all over the nation this morning. Uh, up there in the Dakotas, you got some minus 12s, minus 15s over parts of eastern Montana. And down here, look at the teens. Coleman, 17. Haleyville, 18. Uh, Birmingham sitting at 21. Goodness. Spring will get here. Don't worry. It's just going to take a while. Here's a look at the uh, Columbus Air Force Base radar this morning. And by golly, we've still got a little band of light snow up there in northwest Alabama. It's been snowing in the Shoals. Looks like it's snowing in Russellville and Brilliant and Haleyville this morning. And uh, that's uh, slowly moving to the southeast. Uh, the air is much drier this morning, so we don't expect the uh, bands of snow to be as heavy. And more than likely, that's going to dissipate soon. But again, some folks getting a few snowflakes early this morning. Uh, watch warning map. All the winter weather advisories are well to the north and northeast of here from about uh, Indianapolis and Lexington, Louisville, Cincinnati, northeast up into uh, New England. Rest of the nation pretty quiet and uh, rain for the next five days. This is valid through Saturday evening at 6 o'clock, and this is suggesting some light rain for the state. And I'll tell you now, timing out when it's going to rain this weekend is going to be very challenging in this pattern. We'll take a look. This is the uh, GFS, the Global Forecast System, at noon today. It's about 18,000 feet up. The uh, level here is at 500 millibars. And again, ridge over the west, trough over the east. Down below that, cold and dry. I bet your forecast is too warm today. I've got like 40 for the high. But starting off at 21 and still some cold air advection and still some snow around, I don't know. Probably a little too optimistic. I doubt if we make it out of the 30s. Tomorrow, I'm telling you, if anything, uh, the thickness values are actually lower tomorrow. So the warming trend will be a slow one. Uh, it's going to take a while to get out of this. And again, you can see a northerly flow. That's going to be a chilly day. Again, I've got mid-40s. That might be too optimistic. Thursday, we do start to moderate. That'll get us up there towards 50. And of course, we're dry. And then uh, Friday... Still, the 540 line is sitting up there around Huntsville. And uh, uh, the, the stits, uh, statistical guidance has been spitting out like upper 50s, and that just seems a little too warm. But I do think we'll break 50 on Friday. Whatever, it'll be warmer than certainly it is now. And again, you can see some rain developing out there over northern Arkansas. And really, this run is drier with this uh, deal. You know, we've been talking about rain late Friday night and Saturday morning. We'll take a look at Saturday, and you can see the flow has gone zonal. Uh, the cold air for the moment is really shut down, serious cold air. And down below that, really, this run looks dry for Saturday. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm not going to make any adjustments in the forecast yet. Let's take a look at the 12Z runs, but I'll tell you, with the fast zonal flow and these little uh, ripples that come through there, that's going to be tough to deal with. Uh, so this run looks dry for the moment. Our ongoing forecast has some chance of rain late Friday night and Saturday morning. And then Sunday, a pretty good-looking wave develops uh, to the north of us, a surface low near uh, St. Louis with a batch of showers, and that looks like that would be coming in here Sunday night. And then Monday, that rain is pretty much gone. Uh, so for the moment, this is suggesting the better organized rain over the weekend would be Sunday night, maybe even some thunder in there. 
And then uh, Tuesday of next week, a week from today, cold air advection kicks in, gets colder again. And again, you can see all the cold air that's available up over Canada. A lot of cold air sitting up there, and um, any warming trend probably will be short-lived. We'll go out to the 1st of March. That's an anomalous look there. That doesn't make a lot of sense with the ongoing pattern. It's a split flow with this huge upper low over Louisiana, and that looks awfully wet with no cold air involved. And the end of the forecast on the 3rd, again, the northern branch has got all the cold air cut off, and down below that, that looks kind of mild and showery, but... That old uh, Arctic Oscillation stays strongly negative through the rest of the month. So that's the reason we think that warm-ups here will be fairly short-lived. But remember, the days are longer, the sun angle is better, and, and we're getting close to March. So sure, it should be warming up on a general basis. But that still looks like temperatures here are going to be below average for a while. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.